So, kind of up to you. I don't care. I don't mind playing with them. But I, I know exactly how to interact with them and what's safe and not safe and when to avoid, when to engage. They can actually be helpful because the zombies don't like the fungus. So the zombies and the fungus will distract each other. And if you have fungus on the edge of a town, then the mushrooms are going to be distracting the zombies and you can run around and loot and so on and use the mushrooms as distractions. So they have benefits. And as long as you know how to deal with them, there's almost no chance you're going to get infected. So just a matter of knowledge and experience. But um, yeah, brand new players, I got no problem telling them to turn the turn the fun, turn the mushrooms off. I'd hope they'd eventually turn them back on again, but uh, whatever. All right, uh, do I go get the wax and make the earplugs? It's kind of important because I won't be able to sleep with the noise going on. Yeah, let's. Well, I also don't have I don't have Fab One, do I? I don't think I even have. Oh, I do have Fab. Wait, nope, that's. Red is uh, theoretical, <laughs> so right here. Your skill in working with raw materials and shaping the useful objects. Skill plays an important role. Knowledge level, what, what knowledge level two? Uh, I'm not sure what that means. But I believe it's red because I have theoretical knowledge of one because I read a book. But I don't actually have practical knowledge yet. So my practical knowledge hasn't caught up with my theoretical knowledge. That's one of the things we're investigating this run, is the difference between theoretical, practical, proficiencies, and so on. So I need to actually build something to catch my practical skill up with my theoretical skill. Uh, I don't have that much in the way of raw materials. Uh, duct tape wallet! I can make a headlamp, I already have one. Make sure funnel out of my plastic bottles, coin wrappers. I do have three chunks of steel, I could make three spikes. Do I have a blindfold yet? I guess I can make a blindfold too. I don't think I have a blindfold yet. Yeah, let's make a blindfold. Blindfold! Three minutes and six seconds. Go! So what does our thing say now? So our fab... So how does it report this? Wait, was that tailoring? <laughs> I don't think that was tailoring. No, it was fab. Hmm. All right. Spike. Give me a spike. Uh, put that down. Hmm. All right. Now I'm getting a little confused. So, spike, fab zero, it, it did make the spike, and it, it is fab. Now, I made the duct tape blindfold, which is uh, that one, which is fab. I didn't do that one. I didn't do the bandage one. I did the duct tape one. I thought. Uh, oh, nope. I did I did the blindfold. I did the wrong one. All right. So, but why am I... Why is it still saying Fab 1 10% here? I just made a spike. But why am I seeing no differentiation? Hmm... So, fab, one out of one now. Do I have to make something of the skill level? Yeah, see now... Why is it red, though? <laughs> I'm getting confused. I'm not sure just what I'm learning here. Knowledge level 2, 11%. So, do I still have, apparently... Uh, 
I thought... Hmm. How did they have this originally? I think they originally... Didn't they have this, like, separated on a two separate lines or something weird? So theoretical knowledge is always at lowest equal to your practical knowledge. So what? What? <laughs> I didn't think I had made anything else. I'm at Fab Two. All right, let's um, let's check something else. So, healthcare one bandage. I've got denatured alcohol. I could do three of these. So yeah, we're gonna do three of these. I've got healthcare one, so we're even up on the skill level. So I will gain XP. All right. I think the problem was I was already Fab 1, and I had theoretical knowledge above that, so I had to be crafting things of level 1 in order to gain more XP. And I'm pretty sure this means I still have theoretical knowledge to use to increase the speed that I'm going to learn Fab. But is the is there an indicator for, like, how much? I mean, is this... Like a remaining bonus amount? Or is this... Because it's not progress towards the next level. So I'm assuming this is knowledge level 2 with 11% bonus or something like that remaining. So if I look at healthcare, we've got 11% progress up to level 2. We've got a bonus amount available that I've got to consume. So I'm going to make that bandage and I'm going to expect this to go up, this to go down... So, healthcare one, so we're even up on skill level, which is good. So, let's make one of those. Medical tape, please. Hmm. So, went up, did not go down. <laughs> hmm. So what I'm seeing in the knowledge is the theoretical level. So, oh, okay. I guess that would make sense. So with the learning I've done, so my theoretical level is one level one and 38%. So as soon as my progress hits that, it's not showing me any kind of bonus info, but as soon as this 21% hits 38%, then this will go back to the normal coloring. All right, so do another one. So we're up to 31%. Whoops. <laughs> Why does this keep going up then? That nah, doesn't make any sense either. Hmm. Crafting itself gives you theoretical knowledge too. Hmm. All right, well, we'll do the third one. So it's still pacing ahead. All right. Uh, I have uh, I have computer for a practice recipe. Look at that. I just don't have any of the tools that I can, you know, practice with. So I won't be able to raise my practical health care all that much further. I'm not going to soak my, my antiseptic. Hmm. All right. Um, yeah, the same thing's going to happen for computers. I can raise the theoretical, but I need to actually do the practice in order to raise the practical and put it to use. Okay, good to know. That's what we're trying to figure out this time. Is I, I haven't had to deal with any of this stuff because my recent uh, challenges have basically sidestepped the crafting process entirely. So all this new stuff, this is the first time I've really 
paid close attention to it. I'm generally aware of what it's intended to do, but I don't have any actual hands-on of paying attention to it. Alright, uh, we need time to pass. I still have the problem of the sound. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go up to the golf, golf station and get the, uh, hopefully get the wax from the toilette. I'll keep gaining XP up to a certain level. I don't know when it stops. Probably around level 3. Alright, what have I got to whack a toilet with? <laughs> what is toilet whacking worthy? Pickaxe? <laughs> I pretty much just need a stick. Actually, we're pretty low strength. I need something with decent bash value. I haven't made a home wrecker or anything yet. Don't have a crowbar. Don't want to use any of the other tools. Yeah, we'll try with just a stick or a pipe. We're back to strength eight, so we should be able to get it with a pipe. Die chair. Give me plank. Straight out for the pipe. Give wax. <laughs> hmm, do I want the raw materials? I'll take those. And sure. Sure. Makeshift earplugs. So we've got the tool containing one or more. We've got a lighter. This is to melt the wax into. Lighter to provide heat. The wax itself to melt. And then some thread. And we're just going to do makeshift earplugs. Uh, use the lighter, please. And store an inventory. Ignore the ladybug. Wielding pair of makeshift earplugs. Cool. Well, that makes things a little easier. Making those noise-canceling headgear, that was always a pain. Um, I need to go back where we were. Do I want anything else while we're here? We've got some raw materials available, wood and minor metal items. If I wanted to do any other crafting, I could break it up and bring it with me. Um, yeah. Hmm. Not used to thinking that I, I it used to be. I'm, I've got many thousands of hours just reading books for levels. Now I got to actually think. In addition to getting the books, what materials I'm going to need to practice with to gain the levels specifically. Hmm. Yeah, let's go grab a few more while we're here. is going to get nicked by something and then come charging in here after me. <laughs> hey, Moose. Not damaged. All right. Well, you guys need to ignore me. I just want to move all this crap. <laughs> Giant aphid. 
You are so annoying. <laughs> All right, we made it. So there to there. Uh, I don't want all of it. We'll take that, the steel, the nails, the pipes, the planks, and the scrap metal. Take four of... Oops. I grabbed it all. That's fine. All right. Um, upstairs, upstairs. Was it just tables? Or were there, like, uh, covered benches? Tables... All gonna be wood and metal again. What's the railing made out of? Whoa. Metal metal railing's pretty tough. Alright, that'll do for now. Let's get back down to the lab. wondering if it might be better actually now we've let some time pass while we did some reading and some crafting so things will have moved around it's probably better for me to not be near the lab while I do this that way less stuff there'll be less holes and less uh less issues so uh let's get away from all the bugs why I don't know why there's so many bugs by the thing there all right we'll just hang out here damn it bugs still in the area well, crouch. That solves all the problems. All right, let's do some more reading. Either cauldron of bats. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Greatly appreciated. Uh, we learned it. Theoretical knowledge of healthcare increases to level two. Knowledge level two. Actual level one. 39% progress, knowledge level 2. Alright. Go again. 1819. Sun has gone down. I don't have a great power source. We were doing uh, candles. Not tired yet, so we finished that book. Back into the pile with you. And drop the blindfold on the seat. Actually. All right, so we got our normal gear Sitting on the seat, which is, uh, oops, not going to show it that way, are you? <laughs> this is the, uh, the blindfold, the quilt, and the pillowcase. Uh, very thirsty. Let's have some water. How's our bandaging doing? Back down to poor. I'm going to let it go all the way out before I fiddle with it. We're a tad cold on our arms, are we? I know the motorcycle armor will warm us up. Yeah, let's just do that for now. We're not tired yet, though. we got to sleep once we're tired. Do, um... What do you think? I did rifles earlier. We can do early electronics fairly easily. But I think I'm going to start into, uh computers the pillowcase holds the pillow <laughs> the, the pillowcase is holding the pillow <laughs> that's what the pillowcase is for somebody decided that we needed both pillowcases and pillows and that they should be uh, you know you can take your pillow out of your pillowcase if you'd like I wonder if the pillowcase can then be used as a bag is that a thing can an empty pillowcase be used as a container if you like hold it in your hand like a sack I never actually tried. Anybody tried that? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, still got the bandaging going. Still not tired. Just after midnight. Have I picked up any cough syrup? I have not picked up any cough syrup. 
It can. You did that last night. <laughs> cool. Good to know. Oops, not that one. Off to that one. I, oh, we just burned out our candle. I need to get to sleep pretty soon if I want to do... Well, if we're going into the lab next, it's not really going to make a difference. Lab was a pretty good opportunity for us, so I would like to take advantage of it. So, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's burn up another candle. <laughs> the candle's still lit. Zero out of a hundred. Activate the other candle. Back to reading. Managing is still going on. Now ah, we're tired. We'll finish this level, and we'll re-bandage and go to sleep. Okay, more books complete. Love being a smarty pants. Alright, numpad. <laughs> Dandle off. Let's have some more butter. Fill up belly. And new bandaging. Two doses of antiseptic remaining. <laughs> I, I so want to throw some on that left leg. I shouldn't, though. I shouldn't. We need to hold on to at least one or two. I don't want to get a bite wound I can't immediately deal with. All right, so uh, we're all set there. Let's uh, wear our blindfold. Since it's now daylight, I'm not going to wear the earplugs. That way we can hear things burrowing into the vehicle to get me. And off to sleep we go. Come on, left leg. Get into the green. Get back into the green. There's the arm. There we go. About damn time. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better now. Okay, ditch the blindfold. Still clear area. Um, we're in good enough shape. I can probably risk heading in now. One more day wouldn't hurt me. We got enough food and water for it. And I've... Well, I've run out of things that I care about leveling. These I can level really quickly. I could read all four of these. And uh, probably be early afternoon. So, we're not going to... Well, I could bootstrap my way to Fab 3. Pretty easily, actually. Let's take a look. P colon fab, which if you don't know, if you look here, it shows you how you can filter. So we're doing P colon, which is showing me the primary skill used to craft. So I want to see fab only recipes. So fab only recipes, then it sorts them by highest level at the top. So as I scroll down here, now it's level one recipes here. And it's showing me I'm currently two. These require one. So these are the only required, the level two required ones. So... I don't have a lot of choices. This takes a plank and scrap. We can do a lot of these. So we could level to three on this very easily. So that's probably what we'll do. But as you go, then it's level zero. And then things you don't have materials for, it resorts. So now it's starting at the highest level again for the things you don't have material for. And then it goes down. So four, three, two, one, and so on. And that's how you find recipes to build. So we're gonna do wooden fishing spears. Let's just do one and see how far we get. Hey there, fishing spear. Where are we at? Uh, 42%. Do another one. Ignore the ladybug. 65%. And it's no longer color-coded, so I'm assuming we have exhausted any bonuses that I had from uh, theoretical knowledge. We're back to just the basics. 82%. Getting close. 
99% hate it when that happens. <laughs> so annoying. Alright, let's ditch the wooden fishing spears. So, we hit Fab 3, which opens up a book for us. We can go all the way to 6 now, with the theoretical at least. Fab's pretty easy, because there's so many Fab recipes. You can usually level Fab and tailoring without too much difficulty, as long as you've got some raw materials handy. Other skills are much more difficult. Pillowcase volume is 1. <laughs> Small pillow. That's alright, that's alright. No worse than carrying condoms that you can fill up with cough syrup. Oh, got fishing spears in my hand too, huh? Okay, we're back to being hungry. Let's finish off the butter. Bulk up on those calories. Butter's gone. And we'll have some water to wash it down. All right, there you go. We're full and turgid. We're doing good. Um, let's slap another bandage on that leg. Get that updated. Uh, body bags got an adjustment. I'm trying to remember what the adjustment was. They were changed in some way. I, I think they no longer hold liquids. That was the really funny part was loading a body bag up with, uh, water or gas or using a body bag to, you know, lug 30 liters of gas <laughs> from a gas pump over to your vehicle. Things like that. I think that's what changed. Uh, yeah, it no longer holds liquids. So, I think it's identical otherwise. 100 capacity. Or 100 liters, 78 inches. So, I mean, it's still great for that. But you gotta keep, you gotta hold it in your hand to use it as a container. So, you can use it to move very long objects. But, uh, it was funny because it used to be, you could put liquids in it. <laughs> which was hilarious. That's, that's where we got the most entertaining value out of it. Okay, uh, what else? What else, what else, what else? Um, we're almost back in shape. Do I read? Do I go down there? I think I am going to keep reading. Let's finish the getting the healing done. But let's work on, uh, let's knock these little quick ones out. <clears throat> Stupid giant ladybug. Let's crouch so we don't have to deal with that. Let's go to shotguns. Oh, it's dark again. I don't have a lot of... Uh, what's my candle at? 64. I think that'll get us through at least one more night. Next up, I'm not going to do any archery this run, so I don't care about that. Sure, food handling. Oh, bandage wounds. One of them completed. And then, uh, finally, Fab. Yeah, it took half the candle to get through the night. Uh oh, a crow's sneaking up on me. They're getting close. The pillowcase separate from the pillow gives you the increased comfort level. <clears throat> that seems a little odd. Should be back up to full health, or right close to full health by the time we finish sleeping. Alright, so we're back to tired. It's noon. 
means we're going to sleep the rest of the day away and head into the lab at night, which is fine. That's no big deal. All right, let's have some more uh, water first. And we're done with the butter. Let's start working on the next thing on the list that is not sealed. So I'm moving down my list of foods to things that are not sealed. But even those have got long preservation times, so it's fairly irrelevant. Cookies. Oh, I'm already full. All right. None for me. We're still overweight, so we're, we're still good. I keep forgetting it's only day th three days in so far. We started on day 61, so we're three days in. Okay, uh, back to wearing our blindfold and uh, sleeping the night away or the day away. Come on, leg. Well, I guess we're not going to be near near full health. <laughs> that leg's going to take longer since I'm not able to get both antiseptic and bandaging on it. It's important to do both if you have the option. Done, done, done. All right, blindfold out. Ditch the books. I'm going to keep the pipe with me, I think. Let's have... What do we got down lower on the list? This is all that MRE stuff. Oh, we got some protein rations still. Yeah, let's have a couple of those. It's yucky, but uh, it bulks us up. We'll just have a couple. Then we'll eat it. Some uh, some chocolate and some candy. That should be enough. Satisfied and hydrated. That's what we want. Perfect. Hey, look, our base move cost. Remember what it was way back when? <laughs> what I was exclaiming about how fast the enemies were moving? That's because uh, what I what should have been 106 was actually 178. So every step I took was almost twice as expensive in action points, which means they were moving. So I was at like 80 speed or 80 speed because of the pain negatives. So I was both slower, meaning I had less action points to spend, and each move I took was almost double, which would basically make it an almost triple um, difference between my movement and their movement. So. Mystery solved. Very important to uh, to look at that stuff. Yeah, I think there's still some penalty involved because um, quite a while back, I complained mightily because there was a cliff on your legs where uh, in perfect condition, everything was great, but you took damage, still no problems. 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 But there was a magical number somewhere around here where as soon as you crossed a one point threshold, like at 30 hit points, everything was fine. But when it was 29 hit points, you were radically crippled. Your movement cost would go from 106 to like 200. And I, I, that was total bullcrap. I complained about it mightily, and uh, somebody was kind enough to switch it to a scaled damage where as you take leg damage, your move cost scales higher and higher, which is great. So now, even a little bit of damage is going to cause you some base move cost negatives. But before, it was just dumb. It was, it was literally a one-point difference between radically crippled and uh, everything's working great. <laughs> so... I hate those kinds of arbitrary decision points. I complain about that stuff constantly. I have the same issue with the archery system. I just don't like arbitrarily drawn lines where when you're one point on one side of it, it's all hunky-dory. One point on the other side of it, some massive negative or positive effect occurs. I hate those kinds of systems. And every time I spot one, I complain about it. But yeah, so I think because of my damage here, that's why we're probably 105 is our base. That sounds about right. So, because of the damage we've got, it's just uh, slightly higher. I'm going to keep complaining about the infection exhaustion. <laughs> I'm doing my part. I'm demonstrating, I'm complaining, I'm explaining, I'm showing it, I'm giving my preferences. 
I can only do so much. Somebody's got it really tightly in their skull that everything is great. I don't think they actually play the game. <laughs> I think the people making that decision don't play. They just uh, they just code, and they don't really understand that it's just a really, really, really non-fun kind of a setup. So, not challenging, not fun in any way. Just, just, just bad. So. All right, uh, let's see. So we're healed up as I'm going to get for now. We're starting to get a little low on certain materials. we got to get that fixed. It just got dark. We got, what, one headlight in this beast, if I remember right? Yep, one head. That's that's one? No, that's two. Is that two? The two or is that one? I think we had one. <laughs> one headlight there. Oh, we do have two. All right, we got both headlights. Cool. Uh, so good, we can drive. Um, do we go check out the lab? So nothing will have changed since we left because it's outside the reality bubble. At least nothing dramatic like new holes, sinkholes or anything. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and head on over there. I don't have a lot of time left in tonight's broadcast. I don't want to actually try to explore the lab this evening with uh, 10 minutes to go. I got to make sure I get a lot of good rest tonight for uh, tomorrow's... YouTube celebration. Get out of the way, raccoon! And no, we're not celebrating YouTube tomorrow. We're celebrating the channel reaching 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. We hit a benchmark, you know, one of those arbitrary benchmarks that I hate so much at 9999. No big deal, who cares? Blah! But when it hit 10,000, oh my god, that's something important. <laughs> oh, how fickle I am in my arbitrary assignments of numerical values. Uh-oh. Look at that. Right near the front entrance, we've got a sinkhole. <laughs> uh, makes me a little nervous. Maybe I will use an ID card. Whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to start it up again. Uh, actually, let's... Yeah, let's get a little closer. I want to get on the side, on the street. Nervous habit because of uh, worm sign. <laughs> park, park on pavement if you can. I haven't seen any worm sign near here, but uh, I'd rather be on pavement. Less chance that uh, worm will get to me. Well, no chance. They can't do it on the pavement. All right. So, how many ID cards do I have? I got three already. We haven't. We're, we're probably going to find more downstairs. So, I think I am going to pop that door just so I don't have to go around. We've already got the ammo. Southeast and below, you hear a crash. East and below, you hear a crash. So, southeast and below from where I'm at now should be a good thing for us. I think that'll mean the Hulk has moved farther away from the stairs. Mining helmet on. Gun out. No rollerblades or anything for my footsies. Um, I'm wearing the... Motorcycle armor, I'm not sure I'm happy with that. 48 torso, which won't affect my firing accuracy. Yeah, let's go with it. This time I am going to check. Oh, he's just going through walls like crazy. All right, temperature's fine. So it's not an ice lab. We got that going for us. What I really need is I need one of these three rooms to be a slime pit. If one of these three wombs, rooms will do me the favor of being a slime pit room, we're, we're, we're golden. <laughs> Everything's great. That is not a slime pit room. That is heavy machinery. So that's the machinery and crates. Alright. No Hulk in sight yet. That is the old laser room. Or the old turret room, I mean. So there used to be turrets on these. No more. No more random turrets. That doesn't help. 
And another one of the machinery rooms. Well, so I got none of what I wanted. Okay. Um, I can't step into that space. Oh, that's the rebar. All right, so he hasn't finished breaking through there. I can't use any of that to my advantage. I think I'm going to go this way first. That is the conveyor belt room. Man, it's going to take me some effort and time to relearn some of this stuff. That's the conveyor belt room. So there's going to be some loot right there on shelves. And that's a randomized secondary room. Um, and this is also randomized. Man, I'm nervous about moving through these rooms where before I would just be skipping right on through. What do we got? Multivitamins, some denatured alcohol. Nah, they're machinery of various types. Chemical reference classified. Filter mask. Other stuff I don't care about. Um, not worried about any of that. More wreckage that way, huh? Chemistry set. Um, sure. I don't know if we're going to get into mutagens or anything. I doubt we're going to do mutations this run. I would be asking quite a bit of the original premise. No, go around the rubble. Let's pop upstairs. Drop this chemistry set. It's kind of heavy. Where could the Hulk have gone, though? He was originally down in this area. He's not in either of these. He's not in that. I opened that door, but there was wreckage. So he went diagonally into here. And then where? More wreckage. More wreckage. I, I think he went out this way. So I'm hoping we'll be okay exploring other directions. Flooded sewage. That could be a little nasty. Security guard. All right, run. Oh. Now it's going to be a little, little, little nerve making, nerve wracking, because when I start shooting, the Hulk might come to investigate the noise. That could be bad. <laughs> Heard crash. Yep, back down that way. Um, man, I hope he's not actually in this room. That would be bad. I didn't actually. Oh, I think he might be. He's. It's not giving me the from below, from above message. I'm not fast. I don't have any movement bonuses, and I don't have, like, roller blades to stay ahead of them and just shoot them to death. So, the other danger is he could take out the stairs, which would be really, really awkward. Man, I was really hoping to find a slime pit for an easy solution. Uh, I think he is in that room, possibly. I really don't want him to see me. I'm worried I'm going to get a diagonal. He's going to get a sight on me. And I won't be able to get to the stairs. Mutated arms, mutated legs. All right, we're going to hope he doesn't come up behind me in that room. It's going to be all sorts of awkward if he does. 
Dang it, they're not giving me the uh, slime rooms. <laughs> I just need one slime room that I can reach. Arg, scientist. Prime open with the hammer. Second side. Don't really have <laughs> one aspirin. The scientists came from here, I believe. Yeah. Is this gonna be water or bleach? Bleach. How much bleach? They really want me to do mutagens. 406 bleach. We'll note it just in case. I doubt we'll be in the area long enough to really take advantage of it. It's fun finding that kind of thing, though, if you are... Hey, cheese. Oh, butter. See? That's more like it. Old butter. That's what I should be finding. Uh, but if you're doing a mutation heavy run, if you can find one of these, it saves you a lot of hassle because there's all the bleach you need for all the mutagens you're going to craft. Melting apparatus and a heavy battery. Nothing else. No thanks. All right. Be in here. Containment room with some bad guys and Amigo. There's a wallet with possibly... A uh, ID card, if that was a scientist there. So, the bad guys are going to ignore me. This is another one of those knowledge of the gameplay and tactical thing. Uh, interdimensional beings fight the zombies, so all of these zombies have a target. They're not going to change and come after me while this guy's visible. If he moves into a corner here, and like that one loses sight of him, then that one would come towards me. So I gotta be a little cautious about how I maneuver, but um, I could get around in this room without having to deal with these zombies is basically what I'm saying. I don't need to go through this room right now though. We've got another door up here, although I heard sounds. And I haven't finished exploring up in the water area. I'm just deathly afraid of this potential Hulk right here. So, containment room could have some stuff, but we're going to avoid it for now. Let's reload back up to full. What's behind door number two? That would be the computers. Yeah, that's the computers. All right, what's in here? Other scientists and more tanks. More mutagen tanks. Alright, he's not really going to be a problem. Oh, this is a dead end. This is the cave-in section. Alright, dead end. This goes nowhere. Fun. Ammonia, again, for mutating. So this whole section is, uh, it goes nowhere, basically. Please, no Hulk. No Hulk, no Hulk. is also going nowhere. Three by three grid. Opportunity. There's the dissector room, but there's very few things I can use that on. Come on. <laughs> Give me. Nope. <laughs> dissector room, dissector room, dissector room. There we go. Slime pits. Goo pits. All right. We have a target for the Hulk. I just need to get him to it. More goo pits. More goo pits. A glorious surplus of, of goo pits. A surfeit. Is it a surfeit of goo? 
Okay, so he could be in this section, possibly. He might have taken this wall down back here or something. I don't know. I think he's still in this room somehow. But that would be weird because of this trail of destruction. He's just going to randomly show up and smack me into a wall. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> okay, it's 8.03. That's all for the night, folks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Supporting the channel is great. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. I'm going to end it right here. <laughs> it is time. It's a perfect opportunity. I got a rogue Hulk running around, apparently letting loose uh, Talon uh, UGVs. If you don't know what this is, I'll, uh, I'll show you. It is a uh, M16A4, meaning it's got machine guns. A Talon unmanned ground vehicle equipped with an M16A4, small tracked UGV, with an array of motors and sensors covering its weapon mount. So I'm not in danger. Let's let's be clear. There's no danger here. I can just close the door, and they're not able to open doors. So he'll be stuck in that little room unless I come over here by accident, and forget he's there, and open it again. So I'm not in any danger. Uh, it's just funny that uh, he's here all of a sudden. The only place he could have come from is this room over here. He's not native to this room. I already went through here earlier. Did I go through here? Wait a minute. I went in there. I'm pretty sure I went through here earlier. So I think he came th from here. Yeah, he, ha he had to have come from there. But, uh, yeah, I'm not in any danger. I just think it's funny. But uh, he could kill me in one shot. He could hit me in the face and I'd be dead. Or the torso. Um, I didn't notice in the log. I did not. I did not notice in the log that there was gunfire elsewhere. Maybe he killed the Hulk for me. I'm not sure he could kill a Hulk by himself. Mm, maybe. He wouldn't be able to kill a Kevlar Hulk, but maybe he could get a Hulk. But I suspect again that the Hulk's over here, probably. All right, let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting sounds over here. Mechanical whirring. That's not good. How would he have gotten here, though? If this, I mean, this could be a one-floor lab. I haven't seen a stairs down yet. This could be a one-floor lab. This could be the finale room. But in order for that guy to get to this room that I'd already visited, he had to have come in from this direction. He, he, I just came from here. I came from here earlier. So it had to be from this room. I don't recognize this setup unless it's the... No, the, um, the phase transition suit room isn't set up like that with uh, robots. I don't know. There's a few possibilities. But I think what we might have here is a single floor lab. A really small one, and uh, the finale room has been breached, and the robots are roaming. I have seen occasions where they spawn outside the room, but that wouldn't work in this case. Um, could be a new broken wall somewhere I can't see currently, so I haven't. My map memory hasn't updated. We'll move slowly. I'll go back to my start position. We'll. We'll end the evening back at the stairs. I'm actually going to open this and look. I need to answer the question. Eek. Eek. <laughs> He's going to be right here. Peek. Is he not in this room? Not in this room. Oh, there we go. So, he breached... Wait a minute. So, if he went through that wall and then the wall over here, like I said, he could be in the uh, finale room. But I think he would have had to have breached this other way, too. Well, I guess the robot could have come through here into here while I was out this direction, but that'd be a weird path. So now the danger is if I, if I come down to look and there's a robot here that moves to this position, I'll be out in the open. 
Hulk in a cardboard box? God, would that be scary. These are all wooden crates, not cardboard boxes. I'm just thinking I might get shot. <laughs> I'm not really cautious. I might get shot if I am really cautious. Eek. Well, so we went at least there. So this is one of the containment rooms. This is the other containment. I'm hearing noises from somebody in the containment room. Could be a... Sh uh, Shoggoth would be talking to me, so it's not a Shoggoth. But it would take a Hulk to breach that. Maybe it's the Hulk in the hallway still. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Ah, it's another turret. It's another robot. So I think this is the finale room. And I think this guy somehow circled me. He got out through here. Or possibly the walls in here that I didn't see. There could be a break in the walls here. That's the most likely. This is going to be the finale room. And the robots are loose. And there's probably a break in the walls here that that guy got in through. Yeah, that's, that's the explanation. All right. I think the Hulk is probably dead if he wandered into that room with all the robots. So I need to just contain the robots. Unfortunately, the, the, the doors are gone. That one I can close, but that wall section's gone. I need to put a blocker in. I don't think I can get a crate over there, and I run the risk of the robot coming around to investigate while I'm trying to drag a crate with eight strength. All right, get me out of there. I don't think I can drag any of this machinery. I don't think I have another grenade up in the uh, the area. Let's turn the turn the helmet off for a second. No, no light sources in there. I don't have enough of a night vision advantage to shoot them from point blank range, but I could grenade them fairly effectively if I have one. I don't remember if I picked up another one. Can I grab a crate? No, I'm not going to have any... Uh, I'm too low strength to drag crates, so I'm not going to be able to move it with the crate. Uh, yes, stop grabbing. Hmm. Goo won't affect the bots. Dissector won't affect the bots. Yeah, I think that's unfortunately what we've got. A one-floor lab. And I got nowhere to go in any direction except for this room here. There'll be a room here, this room, and possibly rooms below here. But I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure this is the finale room of some kind. So we got roaming robots. And there could be upwards of six or eight of those things in there. They can be dealt with, but uh, they do make things a tad bit more difficult. Yeah, I'd like to know the finale room. I could walk over and peek it. I mean, that guy's trapped. I could open the door and peek real quick. Sure, let's go find out. I'm not peeking it if there's stuff right on the door. <laughs> no thanks. Nope, not going to do that. All right, we're going to close that up. I got to do some thinking. Need to put on my thinking hat. Take off my mining helmet and put on my thinking hat. But I think the Hulk is dead. I think the Hulk wandered into there and got shot to death. He'll, he'll, he'll get back up again after six hours, and depending on how many guns are nearby, he might get shot down again. Oh, we'll keep the pipe. Drop it. Drop it. Uh, keep those with me. Drop it. Drop it. Reload gun. Uh, from loose ammo. 
Okay, we're going to wrap things up right here, though. Like I said, we're over my time, so we'll uh, we'll have Monday. We'll pick up the adventure on Monday. I'll think about how I want to approach the uh, the loose robots. They can be bad. They can be pretty bad. It's instant death if you don't do things right, so um, we'll see. Actually, I need to answer the question. Do I have more grenades? I have one more grenade. That's not going to be enough to clear all those robots. So I might have to put the lab on hold until I can get a little better equipped and come back and finish it off. With it being so small, my options are pretty limited. I wasn't really looking for the finale room. There's not many finale rooms that are going to have too many things that I need or care about. Yeah, they can be fun and useful, but uh, the chances are fairly low. Um, so, I don't want to risk the run just to go push for the uh, the finale room. That's likely not going to be helpful to me anyway. I'll think about it, though. I'll give it a think, and on Monday we will find out. So that is going to be it for the evening. Thanks for again for watching, everybody, helping this channel out. I'll be on tomorrow streaming most of the day uh, on YouTube. So look for me over on my YouTube channel doing some direct streaming to YouTube. Playing uh, Cataclysm, but not this. I won't be playing this run. I may do Play Now or Audience Request or something. It'll be a lot of chatting and... Uh, uh, a lot of answering questions and, and some some cataclysm. I'm going to do the, uh, if, you, if you're looking forward to watching me die a lot, I'm going to be doing Project Zomboid, and I'm going to do the CDDA challenge in Project Zomboid. And I'm going to die horribly, often. There's going to be a lot of me dying. So <laughs> if you enjoy watching me be bad, then uh, there's your opportunity. Uh, so hope to see you there. Have a great evening. Stay safe out there. Let me see if I can uh, I can inflict you upon anybody. Who can I inflict you upon? Uh, Avax doing Hand of Fate. Oh, I haven't seen Hand of Fate in a while. Uh, who, who else is running around doing stuff? Uh, I think it'll be Mr. Avax. We'll send you over Avax way with Hand of Fate. Raid. Avax. Or Raid. Okay, off you go to uh, AVAX channel. Check out Hand of Fate. Have a good evening.